Well, Marlon, an absolute shift out there today. What's your take on the result and performance? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a positive result. A uh, really tough place to go. Fantastic at atmosphere created by, by both fans. And um, with everything riding on the game, um, where they are in the league and what, what they've got to play for and with us, um, it's, a, it's a point away from home. It's another game unbeaten and um, it's a point closer to, to where we need to get to. That really early goal obviously set, set up a good game, but why do you think we maybe couldn't capitalise on that afterwards? Um, listen, I, when you score so early, I, throughout my career, sometimes naturally you probably start a little bit deeper, you try and protect something um, f throughout the game where really if you can continue to do what you've done to get in front then um, you might go and get that second and third goal. So credit to Bolton, I, I thought they played really well today. They made it hard for us, I think we defended our box really well at times and in the end kind of fine margins on the counter attack where we didn't quite get that final ball um, off to the right person or, or that, that shot or pass selection weren't quite right. So. Um, I think you take the point um, two, three weeks ago. It's obviously because of a win gets you champions, um, but it's an opportunity for us on Tuesday at home in front of our fans to, to get the job done. The gaffer outlined in his interview his, the actions he took, took at half-time to sort of change the game. What did he say to you all in there in the dressing room? Um, can't repeat much. He weren't too happy, and, and there's not been many times this season where um, we kind of had that uh, hair dry treatment at half-time. So I think it was tried to gain a response from the group. Um, I think you see that. I think... We probably had the better chances second half. Um, like I said, defending our box well. I think the lads at the back were magnificent because at times they were they were man for man, two v two, and um, came out on top a lot. And I think was it Tino had a couple of chances or breakaways. Showed his real um, pace and athleticism, and quite unlucky with a penalty shout I felt on 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 Yengi. So um, I think a lot better second half performance. And um, like I said, more importantly, it's a, it's another point. It's another game unbeaten and. Um, we go focus on Tuesday now, make sure we recover and it, I'm sure it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere. How was it playing alongside Tino again? Yeah, really good. I, I, you know, I think Tino, um, you forget how good he was. I think credit to himself, he's come back in unbelievable shape. Um, probably came back miles ahead of um, what he did when he first signed at the club. And we spoke about it all season as a group. We need that contribution from all these players. Um, um, wherever it, for, for Tino is a 45 minute spell today um, obviously Callum Lane come back for whether 50-60 minutes and put in a real shift so um, throughout the season there's going to be moments where players are going to really contribute and um, we know we've got the squad and capability of players coming on you see the substitutions lads left out of the squad today lads left back at back in Portsmouth so um, it's always been a collective effort and um, I think the lads have bought into that from the off and that's why we've been successful just want to talk about the fans for a second. They created a brilliant atmosphere in the ground today, but before you got a hero's welcome when you got off the coach, how nice was that to experience? Yeah, it was um, It was really nice. It was um, obviously the first proper time that we've experienced that as a away team because of how close we are to the end of the season. So, um, yeah, great atmosphere. Travelled again in their numbers. Obviously, there would have been more here if, if allowed. Um, such a shame there wasn't, but um, we know we're going to have a field for Atten Park on, on, on Tuesday night and... Um, hopefully we get the result that we all want. Like you say, on to Tuesday, I'm, I'm guessing you and the lads all know what's at stake now. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously you want to get the job done today, but um, being a Portsmouth lad, a Portsmouth fan growing up, being at those Burnley and Rotherham games back, way back when we won the, the Division 1 title back then, our, our, the atmosphere then were, was unbelievable. So um, to do it in front of your home fans, uh, in front of, uh, on a Tuesday night at Fratton Park would be a real, real special moment. Not just for me, but for all the boys and, and all the staff and all the fans and everyone that's played a huge role in, in, um, to us getting where we are so far this season.